Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, uh, and the first in the series of the I Need a Haircut and How to Do It Yourself series. <laughs> no, not really. No, don't don't worry, it's uh, another wand build. So with this, it's actually Hermione's wand, uh, and I just want to say thank you so much to the person that commissioned it. It was a, a really fun challenge, so so technical, trying to do all the little shapes of the, uh, of the ivy leaves all the way around the actual wand itself. Really, really cool wand to make, so thank you so much. Um, with this on the actual video, you can see I'm just using my wood turning lathe and wood turning chisels and then varying degrees of sandpaper to get it down to the correct sort of uh, shape using sanding discs for a grinder, then 120 grit sandpaper, 240 and then down to 360 and here you can see I'm just doing the little tip at the end that doesn't actually have leaves uh, or sort of uh, vines on it so it's just the finishing surface of the wand. I then take the wand to my bandsaw and it's just getting it to the correct sort of size. So you want to leave a little bit uh, extra on each end, but it's just chopping the ends off. And then to actually do the, the ivy sort of vine shapes all the way down the wand's handle, uh, the wand's shaft, I had to find a lot of reference photos and a lot of reference videos and basically go on those videos on YouTube and freeze frame them as the person was sort of displaying their wand as they were showing it and just uh, freeze frame it and then look exactly where each little part is. I didn't want to make it up, I wanted it to be exactly right. So just had to freeze frame it and here you can see I'm just slowly turning it to, to show how much how much work there is, how m many little nuances and little extra little bits of leaves and things there are all the way down the wand. And then using my rotary tool, uh, it basically different varying degrees of um, sanding drum. So larger sanding drums to just take out most of the actual infill in between the leaves and the vines, then turning to smaller ones. And here you can see every time, the, uh, every so often, sorry, the video just pauses, and that's when I'm actually changing the uh, the sanding drum over. Uh, and here it's just basically working all the way along the entire length of the wand, and it's just eating out all the bit in between the actual vines, probably down to three mil, something like that, three millimeters. This, uh, this part of the wand actually took <laughs> it took a long time. Obviously this video is only, <laughs> only several minutes long, but this actual part probably eating out all the wand and then here, as you can see, I've gone to a, um, an engraving bit just to eat out the, the edges of it to make it more defined. Um, this bit actually probably took an entire day just to do that bit. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's quite a, a labor intensive uh, one, but it's, it's so gratifying when you actually see the, the final product. It's uh, a really, really pleasing sort of shape uh, in, in the actual wand itself. And then once I'd used that uh, routing tool or the uh, engraving tool to actually smooth out the edges to really define the, the points of the ivy um, sort of uh, tendrils going along, I then used, the, used it to go all the way over the entire surface and just flatten off all the bumps that were made by the sanding drums. And then uh, similarly as the engraving tool, I then used, it's a diamond bit, but it's like a, an oval, goes from an oval down to a point, and that let me really get into the edges, into the corners, and just eat out all the wood and just really even make it more defined from the, make the, the higher layers of the ivy wand uh, sort of uh, more defined than the, the flat sections that I've milled out. It's also the, the same bit that I used to do the details on the leaves. So where the leaves have a uh, almost a heart shape and then they have a line either side of the actual um, stem of the leaf or the, the shaft of the leaf, um, I then et out those two little bits as you can see just to, to get it to really um, stand out and be defined. Then it was a case of taking the, the 120 uh, 240 and then 360 grit sandpaper over the entire one, so smoothing out the entire shaft, but then also going over the um, the actual ivy leaves, the, the tendrils that I'd um, sort of just engraved into the wand or carved into the wand. Uh, it's 
going over with only 320 so that you sand it really smoothly on the edges without taking too much material away. Once the sanding was done, I then went on to painting the wand and this is with burnt umber, uh, just plain acrylic. It's um, Daler and Rowley System 3 acrylic paint and it's just basically coating the entire wand in a layer of that. And it was, it was actually two layers um, to get it dark enough and deep enough a colour. Once the burnt umber paint was dry, I then went back in with uh, raw sienna, which is a lovely bright yellowy, bright yellowy brown colour. Uh, and I dry brushed it on all of the ivy tendrils <laughs> sounds like a name, <laughs> uh, onto all of the ivy tendrils and the, the piece of the stems that go up the wand uh, and that basically made it really pop out and this uh, on the video at the moment is the second layer of that dry brushing. It's where you just put a tiny bit of paint on the brush, dab most of it off onto a piece of cardboard or paper and then brush it on very very rapidly and it just catches the highlights of, the, uh, of whatever material you're working on. Uh, the last layer of this was then using Devlan mud, which is actually a Citadel Miniatures uh, sort of ink. It's a wash, and it's as you saw then, it seeps into all the gaps and make it makes the the dark points deep into the wand carving really stand out. And then onto the final section, which is actually using uh, a satin wood varnish, just to get it to really pop, make the the colours really stand out because that's what the the clear varnish does. Really, really makes the colours look uh, vibrant. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. And if you could just let me know in the comments as well if you prefer just the normal voiceover wand videos or if you prefer seeing, <laughs> seeing my ugly mug in the videos too. <laughs> Be much appreciated. Cheers.